Hey there, welcome back to Windows Fixer, your go-to place for fixing annoying Windows issues and learning what's going on behind the scenes. All right, today's topic is a bit different and but super important. We're gonna talk about a powerful security feature in Windows 11 called Smart App Control, what it does, why it matters, and yes, how it might be quietly affecting your FPS, especially on low-end PCs. Let's get into it. So um, what is Smart App Control? Basically, it's a security system built into Windows Defender that tries to block any suspicious or unknown apps before they can run. And here's the cool part. It's not just checking your files locally. It's also using Microsoft's cloud AI to decide if a file is trustworthy. So if you try to open an app that's sketchy or has no reputation, Smart App Control can literally stop it right there and say, nope, this might be unsafe. It's kind of like having a really smart bouncer for your apps. Now, there are three modes you should know about. Each of them changes how strict this feature behaves. Let's break it down. One point evaluation mode. This is the default when you first install Windows 11. It runs quietly in the background, watching how you use your PC. If you mostly open safe trusted apps, Windows might automatically turn smart app control on permanently. But if you use a lot of unsigned or custom software, it might just stay off. Hmm. Two. On mode, this is full protection mode. Smart app control actively blocks any untrusted or unsigned apps, even if they might be useful. Great for security, but it can get a bit annoying if you often install niche programs or indie games. Also, just saying, if your internet is slow, it may take longer for apps to launch because it's checking everything live with Microsoft's cloud. Three, off mode, this one's simple. Smart app control is disabled completely. Windows won't block unknown apps, but you're kinda on your own here. Not recommended, unless you really know what you're doing or you're running a very specific setup. Does it affect FPS or system performance? All right, so here's the other side of the story. If you're on a low-end PC or your system is already bottlenecked, smart app control can have a small impact on performance. Like when you launch a new app or game, Windows has to check it through the cloud. That adds a delay. Maybe not huge, but during gaming or streaming, even micro lags can get annoying. And yeah, if your internet is weak or unstable, those cloud checks can cause stuttering or lag, especially when multitasking. So for gamers or content creators with tight specs, it's definitely something to be aware of. Should you keep it on? Here's our suggestion. If you're using your PC mainly for work, browsing, or general use, keep it on. Security is always better than dealing with malware later. But if you're on a low-end system or you already have a solid antivirus and you know what you're doing, you can disable it to save a bit of performance. Just make sure you're not downloading anything sketchy, hey hey. So yeah, smart app control in Windows 11 is like a cloud-based safety net. It's smart, powerful, and for most users, very helpful. But if you're noticing slowdowns, weird lags, or just want more control, now you know how it works and what to do about it. Need help checking or changing your smart app control settings? Don't worry, we'll show you the steps in the next video. Until then, like and subscribe for more helpful fixes and stay safe out there with your PC. Catch you in the next one.